Hello, it is me, the King, and we are back with another unboxing. Uh, this time we have from Transformers Rise of the Beasts, um, Beast Weaponizers, Optimus Prime, and Chainsaw. I think Chainsaw is supposed to be a wolf. I'm not too sure, and also, since this is a two pack, instead of showing three parts, I'm just gonna show two. Because I'm going to pound onto both of these guys, so yeah. That's what I'm going to do for two packs, so they're kind of big. But yeah, um, here's the front. It's Optimus Prime. I didn't, the only other one I saw was a Wheeljack with Rhinox, and I don't really care for that. <laughs> also, I wonder Optimus Prime was actually missing its head. So, LeBron Syndrome. But yeah, here's the front. You're saying Optimus Prime Chainsaw. Here's this side, showing Optimus. Another side, another side showing him, and then just says Beast Weaponizes 2 pack in different languages. Bottom of the box. With the beautiful barcode. Okay, so the instructions is in here. <laughs> kind of figured. And his back. And it's weird. Was he supposed to be green, but they changed him blue last minute? Because it would blend in too much with, like, Skull Cruncher. Because, like, look how green he is compared to, like, how blue he is. Unless, of course, the render just got scuffed. But, yeah, um, Chainsaw, he takes four steps. Basically, they're, like, a little animal. And then they transform into a weapon. That's how it's supposed to go. And then here's Mainline Optimus for the Rise of the Beast series. He takes 13 steps. So yeah, um, I'm just going to cut out the two guys and I'm going to try finding instructions in here. So yeah, always be careful using scissors. One. Um. Two. Three. Can I get you if I can get the scissors over it? There was also a bunch of Cheeto single packs of like the weaponizer. Oh, there's one more on the wrist. Waste. Here we go. We got my homeboy Optimus Free. I'm just gonna put him right here for now. Alright, let's get Chainsaw out. One, two, Three, are you out? You are out. Okay, let's see. How would I go about this? I don't want to wreck the box too much. But the instructions are in here. Okay, I guess I'm ripping open the box. Or... Surgery. Okay. Right, come on. All right, that should be good enough. Now well, I can fix that up with some tape afterwards. Alright, there's some instructions. I don't know how you would open this up properly. Ah, <sighs> actually takes a lot. Alright, we got Chainsaw. And then we have Optimus. Hmm. Oh, okay, these probably help stand them up. Yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just like the paper you get with those Transformers. 
just like saying it's real and whatnot and other mumbo jumbo i don't actually read those papers so i don't know what they actually do Ooh, okay it's actually like yellow and also i don't know what class this guy is so i'm only gonna find out when i actually upload a video what class is because i'm gonna say in the title but let's take a look at the instructions all right so here's how you transform chainsaw from i guess maximal chainsaw from wolf to chainsaw <laughs> and it just tells you where you can pop it on but it works with like other transformers and then here's how you transform optimus honestly i kind of like the coloring of yellow it makes it work a bit more than green or blues but yeah um just gonna throw that off to the side for now Let's get into Chainsaw first. I say these guys are kind of like mini cons, to be honest. But yeah, um, Blue Wolf. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know what significance they have. I assume he's probably was supposed to be in the film, but he got cut. But yeah, um, he only has like four points of articulation, which is just in his legs. So yeah, every leg can move. There's really not much to say about a chainsaw. It's just like a mini con if you think about it. That's why I count it as two, because he is technically an Autobot. Or I guess Predacon. Maximal. I don't know why I've been saying Predacon. Then let's get into the big man himself, Optimus. Yeah, so um these things are closed when you get him when you get him out of the box, but flip these out because he's helping me stand a lot more. Because he's like, oh yeah, he was not standing. But yeah. Um there's not much to him, but he is like just a mainline toy, even though he was 20 bucks at Walmart. <laughs> Granted, I think these things are like 6 to 10 bucks, so depending on how much it is, that's how much the price difference there is. But he still looks good enough. Um, so for points of articulation, you can turn his head. Um, his arms can spin all the way around. They can not stick out. But his um, biceps can bend in. He has like arm bend. Biceps swivel. But that's what I agree with. So I highly doubt you don't do that. <laughs> Does he have waist? No waist. For his legs. They can kick out this far. So they can't go back far. Probably because of the bumper. That's why. Um, let's see. They can kick out this far. He has a bent knee for 19 degrees, and he'll stay out. And yeah, that's Optimus. Alright, let's get into size comparison. So we're just going to pair some chainsaw, then we're going to use them also with Optimus. So, up first we have Rescue Bot Optimus Prime. I find out a second Optimus. <laughs> But yeah, um, pretty small. Chainsaw, not Optimus. And then we have from Transformers Legacy Evolution, Core Class Grimlock. He's a little bit smaller, but I think Optimus is like a small deluxe. My Rescue Boss one. But yeah, let's just take these two away. Chainsaw can go to the side, and now we recompare with Optimus. So, we're gonna go opposite. So, we're gonna start with Grimlock and then end on Optimus. So, here he is with Core Class Grimlock. Honestly, they're gonna look good together, not gonna lie. And then, here he is against my only other one, Rescue Bot. You gotta be kidding me. He's taller? Wait, who is taller here? Oh my goodness, Rescue Bot is taller than than the Beast one. That is a shock. But yeah, um, those are those guys. Let's get them prepped for vehicle mode. Alright, since this guy is like pretty simple, well, I'm just going to do Optimus first, then we can bring in Chainsaw, so you can just go off to the side for now. But yeah, let's get started. So, step one is... You twist his head 180, flip him around to the back, you just kind of 
pop it in like that. Then, well, I guess you still have them like this. You would bring out the arms. Oh, okay. You can twist this around then, so he kind of has it. I'd be more in the center. And step four is you would snap the legs together because you see there's actually like a tab. So you just kind of bring them in together. Okay, you're supposed to flip a yep back around. <laughs> just tell you how to do that. Then you just bring down his legs. Flip up his um, ankle heels. Well, I guess I kind of misdid this because I probably could have shown how to do chainsaw. But I'll just show his vehicle mode then quickly transform him back. Then if you flip him over yet again, for Optimus, you would point down his arms like so. And then you just angle them like this. Lean this body back a bit. And then you're supposed to bring back the arms. And then you just kind of swing in the arm bit. And then you bring in the other arm bit. Just fix it up a bit. If I can actually do this, this is supposed to be a mainline toy and I am struggling. Oh, okay, I'm stupid. There's like a little tab. Yeah, okay, see, there's like a tab right there. So, what you're supposed to do is fold that in. His arms just, I mean, his legs came undone. Okay, well, his arms are supposed to tab in, so let me just fix this off camera. Alright, I got the tabs in. Just took a bit of re-transforming. Yeah. Um, here is Optimus Transform. It's basically pretty simple. Just put him on his legs and put everything to a cube because, you know, that be Transformers. But yeah, this is first Transformer that can actually roll pretty good for my collection. Yeah, um, before we go into size comparisons, let's just quickly transform Chainsaw. And I actually gotta look at the instructions up there. So, step one is you kick out his legs. It's basically like Cheeto if I ever get him. Kick back out the legs. Pull out the tab, and then just whip out the chainsaw bit. Yeah, and there he's transformed. I mean, technically, you could just stick him on here so you can Mad Max it. I mean, he won't stay on, but kind of lose, but... And just like Mad Max it, so you got like, me, and then just charge into the Autobots. <laughs> yeah, let's just do chainsaw first in vehicle mode with vehicle comparisons. So first we have Core Class Legacy Evolution Grimlock. Yeah, you know, here he is. Oh, 
going wrong way. Did I? I do actually kind of like the gimmick of this. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty fun gimmick. Especially you can get multiples of them. And it's better to get them in two pack than just get them by themselves. Unless, of course, you already have a bunch of Transformers. Because if this is like your first Transformer, then it's kind of boring. Because you're just like, oh, cool, little wolf that comes with Chainsaw. But then here he is against Rescue Bot Optimus Prime. Boom. And now let's use the other Optimus. So here he is against Grimlock. Honestly, this kind of works for a dynamic shot, you know, if you're trying to like make it like Age of Extinction. Have Grimlock running alongside Optimus to be like, poof, 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 poof. nope. And then you were here thinking Svesky bots Optimus Prime. Yeah, this one kind of looks a bit more futuristic because of the glasses right here for some reason. This one looks more. 80s, which I guess is what they're trying to go for. But yeah, um, here it is. He is definitely longer in vehicle mode, like you can kind of see. Might have to flip it this way so you can see, but uh, honestly, I thought my next Optimus would have been the Voyager class animated universe one. But nope, this guy, which I don't mind. He was pretty interesting. The only other weaponizer I saw was Wheeljack. And I saw the Bumblebee and RC pack where you, like, you take a little beast thing and then you just kind of slap it on them. It's like armor. But yeah, pretty cool. For the first time forever, I'm going to show you how to transfer something back. Because we got to use this gimmick. So what you would do, at least what I'm going to do, is just pop off the legs. Bring it around like this. Disengage the hands. Swing the waist around. Detach the legs. Pop out the heels. I'm only showing this because we got to show off the weaponizer Achi gimmick. Bring it back around the arms. Fix them up. Then you grab his head and you just kind of pop it back in place. Yeah, you just pop it back in place, rotate it back, and boom. Optimus is back in robot mode. 13 steps. Starscream still has more, and he's a, and he's a core class. <laughs> but now we can actually weaponize him. So. You just take Chainsaw, and now he actually lives up to his name. You stick inside whichever arm you prefer. Well, <laughs> try your best. And now you have him weaponized. And then if you have a second one, you could just stick in his other hand. And since he has portholes in the back, granted it might be a bit loose, you could just absolutely weaponize him with like four of them. And then there's two back spots. So if you really wanted to, you could just like, but well, you gotta fix up the arm a bit. You could just stick on the back of his arm. Kind of looks like an antenna pole, like he's like reconning, but it's just a blade. So then you could be like, boom, grabs it off. And then, yeah, you want you want some of this, son? As he falls over, because the power to chainsaw is just too much. Hmm, how big is the porthole? Let's run an experiment. I gotta see if this can actually work. So I'm just taking the blast off of grapple. But I wanna invent something. I wanna see if these weaponizers can work with other bots. I 
Okay, so uh, I think he has a five millimeter port. So some of these five millimeters, you can just give it to them. Which in this case, it could work with grappler because weapon has to chop up some metal. So it could just be like, Nee. And grapple has a lot of ports. I mean a lot. So if you want to, you could just stick it on his arm here, or his, the back of his shoulder here. And grapple you can probably roll for if you want. I just want to see something if if Optim, I think the ports are five millimeters. Yeah. <laughs> wow, his blaster looks pretty good on Optimus, not gonna lie. Like, that kind of looks like his G1 blaster. Put a little bit of imagination into it. Yeah, thank you, Grapple. So, my experiment is true. I didn't know, I didn't know the five millimeter ports or not. So, I just wanted to test that. And they are, so I could use them on my other bots if I really wanted to. Or put other stuff in Optimus's hands. Yeah, let me just pop him back in. Like so. It's a bit hard because of his back feet. But yeah. Um, this has been my review on the... Transformers, Rise of the Beast, um, Beast Weaponizers, Optimus, and Chainsaw Double Pack. If you like this review, um, slash unboxing, I meant to say unboxing, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, I will reply to them as fast as I can, and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. But before I finish the outro, this is so far my favorite color from the instructions, this yellow just makes instruction pop. Anyway, just want to say that. But now I'm done. Bye. Oh yeah, I know I finished the review, but I forgot to say something. This is probably how I'm just going to display my weaponizers. Keep the bot in robot mode and then keep the weaponizer in its weapon mode. That's all I want to say. I forgot to fill it in. Bye-bye.